Hey, what's going on, visionaries? Jason Osborne, JO Vision, back again with another video. And today, we're talking about improving your photography. I'm gonna give you some tips that I follow myself when I'm looking to step my game up, and hopefully, it's gonna help you step yours up as well. Coming up. All right, so today we're talking about improving photography. Everyone wants to improve on their photography. Everyone is looking to grow and to learn and to take up their photography to the next level. I know myself, I'm always racking my brain of what I can do to make my photography go to that next level. So today I'm gonna give you some tips that I follow myself personally when I'm looking to step my game up and hopefully they'll help you step your game up and improve your photography as well. The first tip I'm gonna tell you to do is to admit and to focus on your weakness. So, and first of all, you need to admit what your weaknesses are when it comes to photography. And then you're gonna want to focus on those weaknesses to be, turn them into strengths. For me personally, one of my weaknesses was posing and direction and things like that when it came to my fashion shoots. I'd always get stuck in the middle of a shoot being like, mm, uh, mm, maybe you should do, uh, and I wasn't confident enough. And sometimes that can really you know, slow down the flow of a photography session. So I always try to focus on working on new poses and learning direction skills so that when I am in a new session with a model, I'm a little bit better than I was the previous shoot. The next tip is kind of self-explanatory, but a lot of photographers I feel don't do this, maybe because it's pride or they can't afford to or whatever, but go out, research the photographers that you respect and reach out to them and, and take lessons for them. You know, it's always important that you're learning from people that are better than you. Sometimes YouTube is just not gonna get it done. Sometimes reading articles online is just not gonna get it done. You're gonna need someone to sit there with you one-on-one -on -one and help you improve personally. And there's nothing wrong with that. I've taken lessons myself. I know a lot of other photographers that have taken lessons. And honestly, once you take a lesson, maybe you'll finally get that concept that you just couldn't get before or you'll understand an editing technique that you didn't understand before. And that understanding is gonna help you improve. So you definitely wanna reach out to photographers that you respect, that you know that their work is great, that they have a solid reputation, and see if they offer lessons. And maybe that will help you improve your photography as well. There's no shame in your game for asking for help. Sometimes when we're on the outside looking in, you can't really understand what you need to improve on. Everyone wants to think that their photography is perfect the way it is. The best way I've found to find out what I need to improve on is by looking at my old shots and seeing what I improved on in those old shots, but then also realizing what is still weak from those old shots, even now that I'm, you know, progressed beyond those shots. Looking at your old work can definitely expose flaws uh, that you might have not been able to see in the beginning. And now that you can see them clearly, you can help address those flaws, especially if you know those flaws are still apparent in your current work. So definitely make sure that you check out your old pictures, your old work, your old catalog, and see what was weak in those pictures and see if you're still making the same mistakes. If you are, then that's a great way to improve your photography because you're gonna be able to recognize those mistakes and then improve on them now that you see what they are. Another way to improve your photography is to find new sources of inspiration. You can't just count on Instagram to inspire you to take photos. Typically, it might actually put you in a box because you're gonna see all this great photography on your feed and you might not think you're up to par and then you might just get frustrated and decide that photography isn't what you wanna do anymore. Get off of Instagram and go out into the community. Maybe meet with popular photographers that aren't on Instagram or don't rely on Instagram as much. Go out into the community that you're in, the photography community, meet people, get hands on. You know, sometimes photographers get in their own little bubble and they make their appointments with their models or whoever they're shooting and then after that, they decide, all right, I'm good, I'm going back to my little cave. Sometimes you have to reach out to other photographers, meet with other photographers, shoot with other photographers, and find different sources of inspiration to help you get a new creative eye that you didn't have before. Getting that eye, especially when it comes to creativity, is gonna help you improve because you're gonna be able to incorporate new styles into your phot photography that you didn't have before. So you're definitely gonna want to find new sources of inspiration. Don't just count on Instagram. If you haven't looked at old photography, maybe look at that. If you're looking at just photography of the genre of photography that you shoot, maybe look at different types of photography and see how you might be able to blend it in with what you already do. Now, the quickest and fastest way to improve your photography is to, to upgrade your gear. And that's just on the technical standpoint, okay? Now, as a tip and as a rule, they always say that a older uh, body, camera body, uh, but with better and new glass will always look better than 
a crappy lens or crappy glass on a new body. So my suggestion to you is if that you really do feel like you need to buy some new gear, invest in lenses before you invest in a new camera body. If you're doing a specific type of work, maybe you always shoot at night or uh, you shoot sports or there's a certain type of style of photography that you might need, then you might wanna think about upgrading your body of the camera if it's a little too outdated for the kind of photography that you do. If you're shooting night photography a lot, you're probably gonna to wanna to maybe upgrade to a better up-to-date camera that has a little bit more dynamic range so you can take some better low light shots. Um, if you are a sports photographer, you might wanna upgrade your body of your camera because you need a faster uh, shots per second. You know, there's different reasons for different photographers, but if you want an instant improvement in your photography, lenses is definitely something that you will automatically see an improvement in the shots if you upgrade the lenses that you're using. I can tell you right now that if you're sitting here watching this and all you're using is kit lenses, yes, you can get some great shots with kit lenses, but if you go ahead and upgrade those kit lenses to maybe some prime lenses, like a 50 millimeter 1.8 or 85 millimeter 1.8, you'll definitely see an increase in sharpness bokeh and a whole bunch of other things that you're not going to get with your uh, kit lenses so if you want to improve your photography right off the bat upgrade your gear gear matters to a certain extent I would say this though make sure that you have a reason to upgrade your gear don't just upgrade it just because you think it's going to automatically make your photography better it won't automatically make your photography better if you don't know what you're doing and new gear can also you know incorporate new things maybe you've never used a reflector before maybe you just want to get a new little prism to give you some cool reflective shots in your in your in your images um, maybe you want to use off-camera flash because you've never used uh, OCF before there's different types of gear that you can buy that you can incorporate into your photography to improve it as well. So don't just think that you need to buy new lenses or a new camera body to get better shots. Just to recap on how to improve your photography, uh, you're going to want to admit to and focus on your weaknesses. You're going to want to seek out uh, better photographers and possibly take lessons from them. You're going to want to look at your old work, recognize what you've improved on, and then also recognize what still needs improvement. You're going to want to look for different sources of inspiration for your photos. And last but not least, you can always spend some change and buy some new gear. Hopefully these tips today will give you a new idea of how you can improve your photography. And uh, you know, if you incorporate them into teaching yourself photography, I guarantee you, you will see an improvement. So if you like this video, if you think these tips are actually gonna help you improve your photography, go ahead, smash that like button, give me a thumbs up. I need all the likes I can get. As I say every week, it helps me out. So please don't forget to like this video. Also share it with any other photographers that you think might be able to use or take advantage of any of the tips that I mentioned in this video if you haven't yet please subscribe to the YouTube channel the contest is still going on it isn't the 23rd yet so if you haven't yet go ahead and hit that contest link and, and so you can get yourself entered to win the $200 Amazon gift card that I'm giving away on my birthday for February 23rd I have to reach a, a thousand subscribers in order for me to give it away so make sure you check out that sub count and if I'm not at a thousand yet go ahead and hit that sub button so you can get entered for the gift card and also make sure you hit that notification bell so that you are always notified whenever I drop a new video first. This is Jason Osborne, J-O-Vision, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Talk to you later. Peace.